going on guys? Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping. Thank you for tuning in to another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscaping YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys that's stopping by, share time with me here on the channel. Now, as you can see, got a lot of snow on the ground. What? Well, you know, a uh, lot is whatever you want to make it. But for how our winters have been, um, we've gotten quite a bit of snow. This is uh, two days after our snowstorm and it's time to get things washed up. Um, I typically try to do it like that following day, but um, I wasn't able to yesterday, so today we're going to. As you can see, look at all that salt. This is all salt. Um, burnt through three tons of salt that night. We were salting lots like crazy. So with that being said, um, we're gonna empty out the rest of this salt. Um, I'll put it in that trash, or I'll put it in that wheelbarrow right there, that trash can, uh, whichever. Uh, get this emptied out, then we're gonna head to the car wash, get her sprayed down. Um, because old girl needs a bath. Take a look at that. Yeah, old girl needs a bath. So we're gonna give this thing a bath and uh, kind of just talk to you guys. Um, we've had a lot of people hit me up on Instagram now that we're actually be able to put to use and everything. Uh, talk, wanting to know, you know, how this is working out now that it's, we've officially got it figured out. If you guys have been following along for this insert and the whole process of getting this installed, the, the salt spreader attachment installed, you guys know how it's just been a pleasant, pleasant run, or whatever you wanna say, pleasant, what am I trying to say? Pleasant experience, there we go, pleasant experience. It's been a pleasant experience, sarcastic. Just when I thought my dealer couldn't shine enough, there's something else that they did wrong when installing this spreader. And I will talk to you about that, and then we'll just kinda of give a rundown like what's been going on, um, yeah kind of hang loose for a little bit so guys stick around stay tuned enjoy this video let's get it going let's go. bunch of salt left to get out but there is a little bit so um, I'll hammer that down scrape it all over so you can see what happens when it gets a little bit of liquid to it um, get this all cleaned out just to I guess save whatever little bit that is um, plus it makes it to where when I go to spray it out it cleans up a lot easier versus trying to work all that out of there and out of the auger spot also we're gonna gotta take that off so yeah, so let's let's get this going. Yeah. I'm getting covered with salt. So now we got the slid right under there. Shoot, should be all the way open. Yep. Roll the way up and up. Now I can drop that salt down. We'll run the auger and uh, get whatever else we can out of there. So what we do is come into here. I crank it up to 10 just to get it moving. So there you can see the auger be spinning. Now it's time to feed everything down. And then get it cleaned up. Yeah. All right, so we are pretty well and empty. Can't get it all, but we definitely got 
the majority of it. So it's time to go get this sprayed out. But real quick though, just to talk about what they did wrong. So hopefully you guys can see this okay. The lighting kind of sucks. But hopefully it lit up alright. So if you see this spinner, my spinner spins counterclockwise. Okay? So think. See how these deflectors are facing this way? My spinner spins this way. So imagine when all that salt is dropping onto there, there's nothing directing that salt. So my truck was getting covered with salt. Like it looks covered now. No, this could be ran three tons. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw before, I don't know if I put it in a video, but the ins underneath this insert, up under there, was probably easily enough to fill up a five gallon bucket worth of salt. And that is not good. Maybe even more. Well, well first I called Buyers Direct because my dealer just been junk. So, called Buyers Directly and I was talking to him, I was like, man, I feel like my spinner is facing the wrong way. Because we slowed the spinner down to where it was just barely moving, just so I could see the direction. And it was spinning backwards. And he's like, well, let me, send me a picture of it, and I'll see if that, pro that, uh, that lines up with what we have. And he's like, oh, well, they put on the wrong spinner disc. I was like, no freaking wonder we could never get this thing dialed in. It's getting a horrible spread. I mean, it just, and just think, guys. We did this. I, did, I dealt with this for eight salt runs. Eight salt runs I dealt with. This thing just being a total bust. I told the guy, on, the buyer's guy, I said, look, I spent way too much money on this to be having these issues. The fact that I used my broadcast spreader to salt some lots over using this just because I didn't want to deal with the headache of it says a lot. But he said this was an issue I had to take up with my, uh, with my dealer. I'm like, oh, great. But he said, he said, if you have any issues with them, let me know, I'll handle it. Okay. Call my dealer. Keep in mind, when I picked this up, I didn't get a walk around on like how everything was installed, what to look out for, nothing. I didn't get an, I didn't get an FU. <laughs> I didn't get nothing. And I didn't, I don't even know if I got a thank you for doing business with you. I'm telling you, it's just horrible. Anyways, I told him the issue and I said, hey, we got the wrong, the spinner's the wrong direction. It throws it the opposite way or the guards are facing the opposite way. I need the other uh, spinner. He's like, well, let me talk to my tech. So he ends up talking to his tech, called me back, said, hey, how you have those wires plugged in? Those guys right there. If you flip them, it will change the direction of it spinning. And I literally said on the phone, well, this would have been nice to know when I bought it. And he was like, oh, we didn't, you know, tell you that when you picked it up. I was like, no, you didn't tell me nothing. So I flipped them. It works great now. But, you know, my thoughts were, every time I, you know, hooked the system up, whatever, if I had power, I thought I was good to go. Well, clearly that was not the case. So now we are in business. Okay. Got the vibrator kit installed. So it helps break that friction barrier up. I will say I put like one, I've, we ran loads of one and a half ton in the back here. And insert raises it fine, everything. So when it comes to like getting like one and a half ton on here, the, the downfall is when there's, it's my first initial, you know, saltings. Like I have to come back here. I keep a, a garden hoe with me because it's easy just to break through it. Um, you know, I got to feed the auger some to keep it consistent. Um, because if I was to raise this up, my fear is of what happened the very first time I took it out and all they go whoop, right up to here and then it's too much for the augers to spin, they gotta dig it out. It's like the fine line is like once we get to a ton, I can finesse it to keep it moving and it works pretty dang good. It throws a heck of a spread though. Now that it works, really, it throws a heck of a spread. I wish like I could get video of, maybe I'll have to do that. Maybe I'll have to salt, I have it salting you know, during the day or even I just do it just to, for the sake of a video and show you guys like the spread of what this throws. I mean, goodness gracious, it's it's it can throw it way out. So uh, so yeah. So now we got to get this thing washed up. It's cold out. They're calling for like well below freezing temperatures, like possibly like negative thirty wind chill. <laughs> um, so. I need to get this washed off. I don't know if I have the camera up for that because I don't really want to get this covered in salt and water and all that jazz. So if I don't see you while I'm washing this, I'll catch up with you when we're done. How's that? All right, we are all washed up. All cleaned up, looking so much better. Tomorrow, um, after this dries up, I'll spray some some lubricants on there um, just to keep everything sliding fine but 
she's all clean. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this video. Just wanted to uh, drop on by, give you guys an update on what's been going on. Um, been throwing that salt. Uh, we ran a sidewalk crew twice. Um, guys, that's why networking is so important. Because like I said, I only have, we picked up a new site, which is awesome. Um, so I only have three sites that I particularly have to manage. Um, but because of networking, I was able to, uh, been able to drum up quite a bit of work. Um, so just keeping the ball rolling, get us through winter. Um, yeah, everything should be going good and we should have a hopefully smooth ride right into springtime. So guys, thank you very much for tuning into this video. If you did enjoy it, do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys have been getting into here lately. What's the snow been like? Um, they're projecting for a super blast of snow next week. So um, we'll see how that goes. Probably gonna be super busy, um, but that's good because that means we're making money. So guys, thank you very much. I will talk to you guys in the next video. And as always, remember, do what you love, love what you do, but never, no, never stop. Guys, we will see you in the next one. Bye.